Okay, it's Sunday, March 30th, and this time, oh wait, it's March 29th. This time, we're going to try the Pond Behind In-N-Out Burger. I uh, haven't been here in a while, and we brought the No Name Fly as well as some foam grasshoppers. Actually, a new variant where we put on a size 4 hook, and we're going to see if we can get something to take. Wish us luck. Okay, so there's the In-N-Out Burger, and there's the Pond Behind In-N-Out Burger. Got the Max Catch 2 weight with that real Trout Max. And there's the No Name Fly. Let's see if we can do a test of it. Wish us luck. All right, uh, it's been a while since we've been here and looks like it's been well maintained. It looks like it's been freshly cut grass and hopefully there might be some freshly to be caught bass. Let's see if we can scare one up, maybe see one on the bed. All right, so far we've not seen any on beds. Uh, I do see some kind of lingering in the uh, vegetation on the surface, cruising around again. So we may have to do that topwater bite again. Okay, here is the uh, grasshopper, but it's tied with a Chernobyl ant pattern. But it's a little bit bigger than what we normally use. So hoping to get some bigger bass, maybe. Two of them looking at it, just thinking about it. Got them. All right, grasshopper pattern today. No bass on beds. All right, first fish of the day is gonna be a little bass. All right. It's got some salad mixed in there. <laughs> All right, on the grasshopper, foam grasshopper with a Chernobyl ant pattern. Cool beans. Okay, let's uh, let them go. And there it is. All right, let's try this again. Got him. Little guy. Little bass in the shallows, cruising the shallows. All right. All right, another one. All right, we're just going to walk the bank here and see if we can get one to hit. Gotcha. He hit it quick. He wasn't messing around. All right, number three, hee hee. Well, that's a little guy. That looks like a bluegill. Probably those, um, I don't know what you call them, uh, bluegill sunfish. Let's see if I can see him before he hits. Oh, <laughs> that one came out of nowhere. That was a bass. That was a bass. He wanted it. We swallowed it good. All right. Cool beans. This one's got a little mark on them like someone bit them. Well, that was fun. Uh, we'll try that again then. We'll just cast out away from the, the junk. See if another one will come in and chase it. There he goes. Another bass. This is on the other side of the, the grass. Oh, that's a bluegill. Nice size one too. Big fatty. All right. Always remember these had some big ones here. So it's a nice size one. I like it. On the two weight. All right. Well, that was a nice size bluegill going for a size four hook there. All right. Maybe there's a whole bed of them here. Oh, there's a hit. There it is, another hit. Oh yeah, let's get him out of there. What is this guy? I think it's another, um, another big fatty. <laughs> oh yeah, all right. I always remember there was some nice size uh, bluegill here. There's another one. All right, nice. All right, we had one look at it, or scared one. And get his attention maybe. 
Holy cow. Did you see that? <laughs> Holy cow. I've never seen that before. Holy cow. That was awesome. Jumped straight out of the water. Guess they want some bugs. Dang. Okay, so we finished up and got a few bass. Then the bite slowed down, but it was all on the top water with that uh, foam grasshopper, the Chernobyl ant style that uh, we were using uh, to make that body. Uh, we did get a cool video, I think. We'll have to go check it out and edit it. But it was this nice sized bass jumping straight out of the water, probably about two, three feet, going for, I think, a dragonfly. So I hope I got it on film. Uh, and if I do, I'll put it right here at the end. All right, next time we'll catch you later, and good luck and good fishing. All right, here's a shot of the bass jumping straight out of the water, completely out of the water, eating a dragonfly. All righty, cool beans.